Well, it's Friday night and we're in Magaluf. We're going to party. No, I don't think we are. We're going for a walk along the promenade because I've heard there's a, a market there on a Friday night in Magaluf. Behind us, we've got the strip. To the left of us, we've got all sorts of music concerts and all. I don't know what's going on. We're going to avoid all that and just go along the promenade. Well, we've managed to make it down to the beach. Uh, we've just gone past one restaurant and it's a queue to get in. And it's busy, busy, busy down here. The uh, sun's going down. It's uh, 10 past 8 in the evening. So uh, people are coming off the beach now and I guess they're making their way to the hotels. Still actually quite a few people on the beach. Just in an about turn, we're actually walking in the opposite direction now. Just looking in the uh, Ultima Hora, which is uh, one of the local newspapers and it talks about there being a hippie market here in Magaluf on Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays and Sundays and this is actually going to go on it says well into October so um, I thought we'd come down and investigate and see if this, this is on we're just walking past some of the bars and see how busy everywhere is now um, everybody's out it's that time of the evening now it's uh, nearly quarter past eight. And now I'm just very curious as to what a hippie market is. And uh, we're just going past Ibiza, Ibiza. And apparently that's where they started these hippie markets. So um, when I looked at it, it showed me a picture which indicated it was overlooking the island. And uh, just coming up to Blackbeards, a place we've said we're going to go to but we've not managed to make it. So we'll be going tonight. <laughs> I don't think we'll be going there tonight. The place is rampacked. Really, really looking busy. But we found it. Now I'm not still not quite sure what to expect, but uh, looks like flower power. Some nice flowers. Are they real deer or do you think they're uh, not they're artificial, aren't they? Right, so this is where the... I wash you all the time. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I was just washing you the other day and you said, oh, we don't go down very much, so... <laughs> well, we don't normally come down, and certainly in the evening to yeah. Magaluf, so this is like a, an unusual we event. We just arrived this afternoon. Did you? Yeah. I can't believe we just walked down. <laughs> we only came to the supermarket and we're walking about. <laughs> see what's going on. No, Fantastic. Nice Have a great holiday yeah, then. Yeah, I wash you all the time. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, that was nice. <laughs> so this is the hippie market. Let's have a look. So the ideas come from Ibiza, and it's sort of artisan type thing. So artisan perfume, different aromas. Hola. And different sorts of artwork. This square, which is by Blackbeards, is um, referred to as the Jack Sassoon uh, Square. It was named after Jack, who founded the Pirates Adventure here in Mallorca. And the opening night was yesterday, Thursday, today's Friday, so this is only the second, second evening that it's been on. And they're hoping that as, uh, as this goes through the summer, more and more style holders will arrive. And uh, oh, actually, looks quite nice here. We've got some giants who have joined us today. Wow! I don't think I could do that. So this is um, only from Thursday to Sunday, but every Thursday to Sunday uh, from now until October and it uh, opens at 7 o'clock in the evening, so it's an evening thing 
and uh, they're going to run through until 11 o'clock at night. We're actually very close to the, the Magaluf Strip. So this is one of the things that the local council is encouraging uh, to change the style of tourism to make it into a more friendly and a more uh, family oriented tourism. So uh, this market is one of the things. So yesterday the, the Lord Mayor of Calvi was here and uh, that was the, like the inaugural evening. So this is actually right, right in the heart of Magaluf. Just right in the centre, it's one of these bungee jumping things which kids seem to be enjoying. And uh, they've actually got the hippie market t-shirt. going to get a t-shirt I think. So Anita's bought a Hippie Market t-shirt. Um, not for me though, it's for, um, for Serena. Okay, it's for Serena. Those sort of hippie dresses. and oils and salt and then some local fruit salt and pachis more stalls than I thought. There's a few around here. Jamie would like some of these dresses. <laughs> Your name on a pearl. microscope to see that. I guess this is our era. We were sort of hippies when uh, in our younger days. The days when you used to wear things like this, did you used to do it? Yes, you did. Yeah. 
this is for crushing your garlic. It's a, a garlic plate. We saw them in Valdemosa. So it's like a plate that's very rough at the bottom and you can uh, rub your garlic on it. Uh, different from a garlic crusher. The big girls are up there still. And he's running it with pedal power. How cool is that? Vegetable gold. Hello. All of this is handmade, and all come from this plant that only grows in a specific region in the north of Brazil. It's called Capim Dourado. So we try here, carry here the plant, and make all of this with a base of a metal. With the metal, we can do the the, the draw and the, so it's very nice because it's not high yes. and also it's very flexible no? if you want to do more things it's a lovely color as well isn't it? yes and we call it vegetable gold because the color of the plant is natural no? never lose the color very clever where are you from? We live here. Ah, yeah? You got a card. I haven't got any cards with you. These are our videos. These are videos of the new author. So do you really on this one? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> this is lovely. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. This truly is a, a wonderful sort of merry-go-round. It's made out of recycled car tyres. Uh, the children can ride on those. They've been very elegantly made. And instead of being run by electric motors, it's run by a, a bicycle. So who has it gets on a bicycle pedals that's really cool pedal powered carousel is away they go how cool is that so hopefully this is something that will grow here in Magaluf and uh, help to change its image. Over the years Magaluf's got a, a rather unsavoury image. So here we've got lots of children playing around, there's lots of bubbles being blown at the moment from our carousel and uh, well, everybody's having a good time, it's a family event. So we're just uh, leaving the, the Magaluf hippie market now and just come to Ocean's restaurant which has had a complete makeover over the last uh, few months and is looking really swish and uh, a big change from what it looked like before and they've obviously got this wonderful outlook over to the Magaluf beach and uh, to the island and it's a beautiful evening for it the temperature's now perfect we've had a couple of days when it's a bit cool uh, but it's uh, it's gone back up so we're in for a nice warm weekend I'm just coming up to now uh, Robinson Crusoe's. Good to see it's all open and up and running. And uh, yeah, thanks to our friend Paul. It's uh, looking pretty busy in there. People having a good time. So 
know, that's one of the places I used to do shirts for when I was in the shirt business many years ago. All the music is playing nice and low. So, what used to be the boat yard next door is now the Duke Beach. For some reason it's closed now. Maybe it's only open in the daytime. Some uh, chill out bar here. Looks really quite good. A chilly lounge. So it's a while since we've actually walked down this part of the promenade, and it seems you can see it gets quieter and quieter as we go along. And then there's some places which um, not open yet or not opening at all. There's the happy house. Waiters and chefs needed ask inside accommodation available. So, um, bittersweet isn't it? They, they want people to come and work here. Um, I guess there's loads of British kids who'd love to come over and work here but they can't. You won't get a work permit to come and work in a restaurant like this. So unless you've got a European passport, there's no way you're going to be able to do that. Um, so the days of coming out for long summers and work, working in bars uh, for youngsters from Britain. Uh, well, Boris has put pay to that for you. There's still some people playing on the beach. It's, uh, Quarter to nine nearly now, so the sun's just about to go down. And it's a lot quieter, a lot quieter at this part. Dare we do the strip? Ah. I'm sure it's my sort of thing. We might just make our way up these steps here to go up the strip. We might not, we'll see. You gonna go up there? Yeah. I'll turn the camera off then because it'll just be me puffing and panting. So we, we made it to the top without too much trouble <coughs> and uh, so we're really in the Magalhaes strip area now and uh, yes we do come here occasionally in the daytime but uh, coming here in the evening is quite unknown but I guess it's very very early it's only quarters of nine um, it's already getting a little bit raucous and uh, yeah. I don't know. it is what it is so years ago we used to come here because uh, our friend Davey had a bar and uh, well, it's now called the Dirty Dog and it says welcome to the Dirty Dog and it's, uh, it used to be the Tartan Arms for those of you who remember. And it is now it's relatively early, I suppose, coming to life. It's not gone dark yet. But, uh, it'll be long gone by then. One thing that's become very popular around here, tattoos. Not for me though. Oh, the big match. Tomorrow night? We've got something planned for tomorrow night? So. You say we were going somewhere tomorrow night? Yes. So Liverpool, Real Madrid. Could be watching that on the TV tomorrow. There's almost as many tattoo studios as there are bars. Pardon? Almost as many tattoo studios as there are bars down here. Find some 
somewhere a little bit quieter. It's a bit noisy down here. How you doing, guys? You having anything? So, this one used to be called, I worry. Sorry? This one used to be called everybody. Adam and Julie and everybody came. Yeah. I usually worry about the uh, music that's being played from these bars, but I can't actually tell any music. It just sounds like a total cacophony. <clears throat> I had to put a new battery in my hearing aid today. Wish I hadn't. <laughs> hey, I must be getting old. You are. Thank you, darling. So we're just now at the back of where we've been with the uh, the market down there. So the hippie market. silent disco okay i could appreciate that that's really cool put your headphones on and uh, three channels so you don't have to even have to listen to the same sort of music as the rest of the people that's a really cool idea a silent disco i could go for that but what happens when you're all dancing and you've got a different rhythm <laughs> it must look really silly hey the days of the silent disco with all these little model, modern earphones that you get, headphones, you wouldn't even see that you've got them on. People would be dancing away and there'd be no music playing that. Not the mind boggles, I might want to see that. Just walking down, there's some interesting aromas, some food aromas and there's some wacky backy aromas. Across the road here is the Crystals Bar, and that's one that's um, was one of the first ones to open last year, and they're opening again today. As we go past yet another tattoo studio, and there's another one in front of us. a nice jewellery shop at the bottom of the strip. Tobaccos. I need to said something funny or interesting today. We've got loads of cigarettes in there. <laughs> it's a tobacconist, what do you want them to have loads of? <laughs> right across the road, right in front of us is the Guardia Seville. So if you do get into trouble, I guess that's the place to go, that's uh, like the police station. We're just going past the plaza. Brings back memories of years ago. Kenny Campbell playing there on his keyboard. So if you are um, venturing up or down, as we've just done, the strip, be careful. Not everyone's your friend. And uh, there are still reports of people being uh, accosted, being mugged. So you should very, need to be very careful. So we're just we're going to make our way back a little bit now. We're just going past the White Horse, which is something that people have been asking it's been closed for years now i mean i can't remember when it was last open it used to be called yeah the blanco negro black and white yeah this is the white horse and it is closed and i don't think there's any sign of that reopening anytime soon whoever 
uh, Tixi Tower is going to have to do a lot of refurbishment. Chinese next to it's open though. You've got a menu there for 11.95. People that often ask me uh, what the prices are right like. I think you'll find that uh, prices have gone up. A burger down on the front was 16.50. One of those 16.50 for a bar burger. To me, sounds like a lot of money. I don't know. Um, but you pay for where you are, and uh, as you can see, there are lots of places where you can get um, a decent meal for a lot less. This is somewhere I've been told I should go to. I'm not going to go there today, but um, this is the new Pedro's. And uh, it looks like it's very fishy on the menu. So, although they do do chicken and they do pork, so I think maybe well, lots of meat actually, looking at people's plates. Um, so yeah, that's somewhere we think we'll we'll have to try one day, darling. Put it on our to-do list. We have one of the longest to-do lists you can imagine. Really, it's got so many things that we need to do and uh, work keeps getting into the way in the way so it won't soon <laughs> yeah we've got this plan plan to retire not yet though but, uh, it's a foot Just uh, across the road, actually, from the Kathmandu. <laughs> Another place we've um, we've not been to is Finnegan's, which is Mick's place. Mick. Which I didn't know. I spoke to a friend, and he was telling me. Uh, live music here with Mick the Fiddler who we've known for many 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 years a great entertainer great musician one night we'll have to call in and see him Evening! Hey. I'll put you on YouTube, be careful! <laughs> YouTube? <laughs> <laughs> Little do they know, <laughs> but they will be. So we've got nice a walk around here and we're back to Leo's pub. Always one of our favourites, a bit more quiet, a little bit more sedate. And uh, we can sit here and watch the world go by. And they too have live music. So thank you for watching and we'll look forward to seeing you in our next video. Bye for now. Bye. Bye.